Many runners, of course, spent hours going through the course today with some having to pull out due to injury, but there are always some that make their way to the start line and to the finish line one way or another. WBC's Tiffany Chan is on Boylston Street tonight with more. Applause and cheers helped push Boston Marathon director Dave McGilvery to the finish line. And when it got dark, dozens of spectators stayed until the very end to cheer on the last of the runners, proving that a little motivation truly makes all the difference. They let us know we, we got it. It's right around the corner. After 15 months of virtual races and isolation, finally. <laughs> The feeling of completing the 26.2 mile course is unlike any other. I did a couple of virtual last year by myself. It was lonely, it was sad. The crowds here, you know, I'm a diehard New Yorker, but these crowds were so loving and kind to us. Speaking of love, this man ran the Boston Marathon with a diamond ring in his pocket, knowing his biggest cheerleader would be waiting on Boylston Street. It was motivation every time I felt a little weak. I know I had to push through to make it to the end, to make the proposal. This must be a perfect never forget. No, I will never forget this. For someone to scream your name, for someone to say, we're so glad to see you. I mean, I can't even explain it. And I've heard all day about how the running community is so tight-knit. We've had spectators that have been at the finish line since early this morning. Dozens of them sticking behind to cheer the last of the runners on. This is certainly an unforgettable race after an incredibly difficult 15 months. From the finish line in Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.